Thank you. The first question is from James O'Sullivan, who's from Stats Perform News Australia. He says, after a, after a year of quarantine, hubs and playing in empty stadiums, how excited are you and the men in blue to get to play in front of big crowds and undoubtedly thousands of passionate Indian fans? Yeah, it's a, it's a great opportunity. I think um, everyone is really excited to um, you know start playing uh, in front of crowds. It's been something that um, has been missing uh, since we came, uh, came back to action. But we also understand that we came back to action after a very difficult period and uh, things obviously are still, um, you know, um, getting better as we speak. And the situation in Australia is is um, um, at a place where we are able to play in front of the, uh, the crowds again, which is, I think, um, a big boost for all the players and something that I, I certainly have enjoyed a lot over the years. Uh, playing without crowds was a different experience. Um, um, and you get back to professionalism and what you... Uh, know when you step onto the field, but I think playing in front of the, the crowd uh, is something that cannot be uh, replicated otherwise and something that as sports people, um, all of us really look forward to. So yeah, we, we, we are uh, very, very excited to get back uh, into a stadium full of noise and, and full of fans. Yeah, we have a question similar to that. Uh, and the question is from G. Vishwanath from First Sports. He says, what's the most enjoyable aspect of playing cricket in Australia and in any format of cricket here? Well, playing cr cricket in Australia is uh, one that comes um, with with its own challenges. I think it's a very um, it can be a very intimidating place if if you are not um, ready uh, to to take on a challenge mentally and and with your skill as well. Um, so it's a place that I've loved coming to over the years. Um, the one thing about Australia is that they play hard cricket, um, and in every sport they're very tough. Um, the crowd can be very tough on um, players traveling and. Um, rightly so. I mean, everyone has, has um, a choice to have a home advantage and Australia really um, exercises and executes that um, really, really well. But if you perform well in Australia, you gain a lot of respect from the local public and uh, from the fans watching as well, which as a sportsman, it's, it's a thing that I certainly am a big fan of um, because it's, it's like a test. It's like, um, you know, you kind of going through a hard test and then there's, there's appreciation and there's um, acknowledgement at the end of it. Um, and then over a period of time, you obviously understand that um, people here are very nice. People here are very welcoming as well. Um, and, and if you have the right mindset, then uh, they'll, they'll make sure that they do everything to try and get you uh, as an individual and as a team. But if you overcome that, then there's nothing but respect, which um, has, been a, has been a beautiful part of coming to Australia over the years. And something that all of us now have, have started to enjoy a lot. And um, it's a beautiful country to play in. The weather's great. Um, the stadiums are amazing. And um, yeah, it's, it's always a really nice tool full of uh, uh, very, very tough challenges. Yeah. The next question is about uh, your uh, evolution personally. Bharat Sundarajan from Creek Bus. He says, hey, Virat, is it fair to say that every tour you made to Australia since the first one in 2011-12, has sort of coincided with the different stages of your evolution as a person and a cricketer. And in that sense, how do you look at the Virat Kohli of 2020? Yeah, it's actually a, it's a very, very good question. Um, yeah, I've, I've come here through different stages of my career and my life. Um, so starting with 2012, I think it was it was um, my opportunity and a start to my, my international career as a test player. Um, and something that that I really fondly remember even now. Um, and I was a I was a youngster with with a lot of um, hope and a lot of faith, uh, playing for the country to play for a long time. Um, then the second time I came around was a difficult situation because I'd come out of that 2014 tour of England and Australia was again a daunting tour, um, full of quality players and coming up against a very strong team. Um, and that tour revealed a lot about myself as a person and about my game to me. Um, and took my confidence to to the next level. And then coming back in 2018, we came for 2016, the white ball series as well. Um, but that was a short trip. But then, then again, a full tour in 2018, which um, obviously was was very memorable for all of us. Winning for the first time in Australia, uh, a test series, um, winning the ODI series and, and drawing the T20 series was also very special because as a, as a captain and as a team, um, we were able to uh, achieve our goals, what, what we wanted to in a very difficult place. Um, and now coming to 2020, I think um, um, now it's about um, 
just just fulfilling my responsibility on the field uh, you know i i really take a lot of pride in in um, playing cricket for my country and um, i have over the years as well and this is just a continuation of the same mindset um i i i don't um, come to any place anymore to prove anything to anyone it's it's basically about what can i do uh, to make sure as a captain and as a leader i take uh, the team forward in the right direction and and keep setting the right examples as an individual as well whenever i can um and that's that's always my goal you know growth um is the only focus whether it's on the field or off the field and um that will continue to be um the template for me um going forward you know uh, it's it's but it's been amazing it's it's been um, a full um, roller coaster of a journey till now coming to australia and something that i've really really enjoyed and looking forward to it this time as well certainly captain thank you neeru bhatia from the week uh, she wants to know she says it's a short series but will it be used as an opportunity to test young blood like shubman gill um yes um we have definitely discussed those things we are looking um, at um, giving opportunities to the younger players there are are a lot of young guys in the squad um who are really eager and really uh, you know um, waiting to get out uh, onto the park and play in a place like australia it's a great opportunity for them um, um like i mentioned briefly just now to realize something new about their own games and um how they can take their game to the next level and and grow that confidence and you know keep helping the team go forward so uh, from that point of view yes it's it's a very important series for them as individuals to grow and for us as um um the management group and the captain to to give them those opportunities to be able to go out there and play to the best of their abilities and play freely uh, and really enjoy their cricket so yeah we're definitely looking forward to seeing these guys on the field and um, you know how they shape up because they a bunch of very very talented guys Kushin Sarkar uh, next from the PTI uh, he says will Jasprit Bumrah and Mohammad Shami's white ball workload be managed during the current series considering they have a bigger role in test matches Of course yes it's a no brainer uh, they've gone through a full IPL season as well both of them have bowled beautifully uh, are bowling in great rhythm so it will be very important to monitor the workloads and hence uh, the point about uh, you know some of the younger guys getting a chance comes into play as well you want to see how people react in different situations because um you you are up against a different um a situation every time you come uh, for for a india tour you have to manage workloads you have to look forward to um the youngsters performing on the field so there's a there's a fine balance that you need to maintain and something that we we've, we've been able to do very well in the last um, f- a few years and that's why our our bowlers have been fit and available for the important uh, matches m- most of the times for us uh and something that's that's a very very important factor um for us uh, going forward and for me as a captain to to know as well where uh, the bowlers stand in terms of in terms of workloads and how their bodies are feeling so yeah that's that's going to be a crucial factor definitely yeah you spoke about captaincy uh, next uh, question is from rika roy who's from ndtv she says what kind of advantage will you draw having shared the ipl dressing room with aaron finch what are the top weaknesses in his arsenal you marked ha ah, well it's, look it's um you know people players go through different phases at different times um finch is a is a quality player we all know that and hence he was included in the rcb squad um and uh, he continues to perform at the international level having said that uh, we played a lot against him even in the past as well so there's nothing um, there's there's not a drastic revelation that happens when you play with someone for two months you've played against these guys for 6 7 years before that as well and you know their strength and weaknesses because you see them play uh day in day out if not against you but against other teams as well so similarly for the, for them like someone like uh, um zampa has has seen me bat in the nets so that doesn't mean that they have an extra advantage it's it's basically um um playing together in one tournament and then going and uh, representing our countries which um uh, we have been doing for so many years and playing against each other so i don't think it it does anything different uh in terms of figuring out strengths and weaknesses we already have worked on those things a lot and we played against each other a lot even before we we played together in the ipl john from the agent sydney morning herald he says hey, hi virat how important is it for india to start well in the white ball series to give your side some momentum and perhaps open up some mental scars on the australian heading into the test series particularly as you are heading home uh look i i don't think that <clears throat> there's any extra 
um, desperation or or um, need to uh, you know think on on those lines for us as a team at all because uh, we have to understand the last time that we were successful here was because of a reason and we are focusing on our process and we are really really strong in our mind to be able to uh, win difficult situations and and be at our best in those difficult situations and that doesn't change i mean uh, look australia is going to try and come at us really hard and and, and we um, expect that and we are ready for that um, we are ready for um, some some tough cricket on the field and something that we are looking forward to as a side but i don't think we are attaching any more um, incentives or reason to motivate ourselves just because um you know it's it's a, it's an opportunity to set a tone before the the test series every series is different and the importance of starting well is purely because you have come to foreign conditions and you want to get confident as a team really quickly so that you can carry it forward to the other formats and that's something that we're really looking forward to as a side to start strong and and to do the things that we want to do as a side and make sure that you know we are all feeling um, good mentally um, and we are executing the things that we want to um, before we we start any series whether it's the odi or t20 or the test series a lot of uh, me- media from both india and australia a lot of journalists have asked about your availability till the first test on this tour so if you could explain your decision well the decision was um, made um, before we had the selection meeting and i explained the same to the selectors that um i'd be flying back before the uh, after the first test um and that was purely based on the fact that we have a quarantine period both ways and um uh, i had explained the same to the selectors during our selection meeting um and uh, you know i i wanted to be back home in time to be with my wife uh, for the birth of our our first child and um, it's a very very special and a very very um uh, beautiful moment in our lives and something that i i truly want to experience so um, yeah that was the the reason behind uh, my decision which was um uh, communicated to the selectors during the selection meeting the next question reads riddhiman saha despite hamstring injury traveled with team and is doing re- his rehab in australia if ishan sharma and rohit sharma had also traveled with the team would that not have increased their chances of playing the test matches yeah they definitely would have increased the chances of uh, both of them playing test matches um someone like saha who also had an injury during the ipl is here and doing his reba- rehab with the team so we are aware of his progress and he's on the right path to um, uh, make sure that he's he's uh, fit and available um, in time to play uh, the test series uh, and same would have been the case with uh, ishant and rohit as well um it would have given them um a chance to get themselves fit and be available for uh, the start of the test series and um, yeah the, right now there's so much uncertainty on um, you know whether they're going to be able to make it if they're going to be able to make it at all or not and uh, it definitely would have um, been um, very helpful uh, in in them getting fit if they were here and and doing the rehab just like saha is uh, with the team to get fit for the test series the next question is it says being the leader of the side how do you view the entire matter concerning rohit sharma well um before we had the selection meeting in dubai um we got a mail two days before that which um, said that he's unavailable for selection he's picked up an injury during the ipl um and it mentioned that there's a two week rest rest and rehab period and um, um the it, it it said that the pros and cons and the implications of the injury have been explained uh to him and he understood that um so and and he was unavailable for selection and uh, that was the information we got on mail um, before the the selection meeting and after that he played in the ipl so we all thought that uh, you know he's going to be on that flight to australia and which he wasn't um um and we had no um, information um whatsoever on on the reason why he's not uh, traveling with us and after that um, the only other information officially we have received on mail is um Uh, that he's in the nc and he's been assessed and that he'll be further assessed on 11 december so from 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 the time that the selection meeting happened to the ipl finishing and now uh, when this this email came about his assessment at the nc there's been no uh, information there's been lack of clarity and um, we've been playing the the waiting game on this issue um, for a while now which um, is is not ideal at all um, so yeah it's been it's been very confusing and um, there's been a lot of uncertainty and and lack of clarity around the situation yeah the next question is uh, 
it it is from bharat sharma from pti he says do you find the percentage points system devised by the icc where india despite highest points are now in the second place a bit warped it's definitely surprising because we were told that points are the the point of uh, i mean the the um, matter of contention uh, for the top two teams qualifying in the world test championship and now suddenly it's become percentage uh, out of nowhere so it's very confusing it's very difficult to understand why um, and if these things were explained to us from day one then it would have been easier for us to understand the reasons why uh, such a change has happened but it's happened out of nowhere and i think um, the the further questions about this should be asked to the icc and um, understand why this this has been done and what are the reasons behind it yeah. captain the next one is from navneet prabhu from star sports uh, it's not related to cricket but about a genius he says your thoughts on the passing away of football legend diego maradona what memories come to your mind when you think about maradona it's a sad day it's a sad day for sport um it's obviously a very sad day for football but it's a very sad day for sport in general because we've lost a genius uh, we've lost someone who <clears throat> has inspired people across generations and across uh, walks of life not not just um, sport across many sports and and so many people in their lives as well people are mesmerized watching him play and that's something that only happens to a very few um and he was one of them uh, a pure genius with what he did and um it's it's a it's a void that that can't be filled as as some of the football greats have already said um and i totally totally agree with that and um i watched his documentary last year when we were uh, there for the world cup um and it was amazing to see the the aura and the persona around him and and the stuff that he went um through um and you know just just the pure um genius of what he did was so so mesmerizing and and something that that will dearly be remembered and and he'll be missed by everyone in the sport fraternity i'm sure and definitely the the football football fraternity as well captain the last question is from sunandan lele sir and uh, he has requested the answer you for you to answer it in hindi he says ki uh, jab hum new zealand tour pe gaye the to humne practice match ke bina hi pehli match kheli thi par ye samay corona ke samay mein indian team australia mein थोड़ी जल्दी आई है बारह चौदह दिनों की क्वारंटीन कंप्लीट करी है और उस चौदह दिनों के दौरान वो प्रैक्टिस कर पाई है तो क्या आप ये एक ब्लेसिंग इन डिस मानोगे कि बिकॉज ऑफ कोरोना अभी टीम थोड़ी जल्दी आई है और उनको ज्यादा टाइम मिला है यहाँ की कंडीशंस को समझने में और प्रैक्टिस करने में हाँ जरूर ये ऑब्वियसली एक एडवांटेज की बात तो रहेगी क्योंकि आपके पास ज्यादा समय है आप ज्यादा प्रैक्टिस कर पा रहे हैं आप ज्यादा प्रिपरेशन कर पा रहे हैं आपके पास प्रैक्टिस गेम्स भी है Um, खेलने के लिए तो um, काफी मदद uh, होती है इन सब फैक्टर्स से काफी अंडर चीज है एक लेकिन बहुत जरूरी हो जाता है एक एक जगह पे आके कंडीशन से यूज टू होना पिचेस से यूज टू होना और जस्ट um, जनरली एक जगह पे आके कंफर्टेबल फील करना कि आपको लगे कि हाँ आप यहाँ पे बहुत दिन से हैं और अब क्रिकेट खेल रहे हैं वो एक टूर का पार्ट है ना कि समथिंग जो आपको सरप्राइज कर दे एकदम से आने, आते ही इतना इंटेंस क्रिकेट फील्ड uh, पे शुरू कर देना तो um, जो प्रैक्टिस टाइम हम मिला है उससे काफी हमें आ, फायदा होगा प्रिपेयर करने में ताकि हम पहले मैच से पहले आ, अपने बेस्ट माइंडसेट में आ सके अपने बेस्ट आ, जैसे मैंने बोला फिजिकल स्किल वाइज फिजिकल फिटनेस और मेंटालिटी को लेके जो प्रिपरेशन है वो ओवरऑल हमारी जो राउंडेड प्रिपरेशन है वो पूरी हो सके और ये हमें एक चांस देगा आ, अपना बेस्ट क्रिकेट खेलने के लिए इस टूर पर यस थैंक यू कैप्टन यू कम टू दी एंड ऑफ द प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर योर टाइम Thank you very much.